big heavy box of stickers. So these are my lanyards. And it's a collapsible photo, photo taking little setup. I also make this one page of all our new products. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog and today is January 30th. So we're coming to the end of January, which is awesome. I have a wholesale event uh, hosted by FAIR on their website called the FAIR Winter Market. So I'm preparing for that this weekend. I don't usually work weekends, but because some of my things are arriving a little later than I expected, I did have to work this weekend, take some pictures, and get all my products uploaded onto my wholesale platform. So I'm gonna probably be doing that the next two days, and then it shouldn't be too difficult. But on the upside, everything has arrived. So I wanted to show you guys all the new products so I have a bunch of packages that arrived today and I'm so excited to show you guys. And there's Haru. <laughs> so first off, I get my stickers done at Standout Stickers and I love them. They're such a wonderful company. They have the lowest fail rate of any sticker company I've ever seen. Hold on. <laughs> I had to open the door for Haru so he can see me or else he gets upset. So. I get both my three inch stickers and my sticker sheets done with standout stickers. And I did some reorders for this batch of uh, stickers that have been selling very well. And then I have my new sticker sheets. So this is one of them. This is my new coffee sticker sheet. I, can you believe I didn't have a coffee one already? And then I made this guy, so cute. It's based off the Harry Potter owls. But I made this one because um, the Harry Potter stickers were so popular with a lot of my stores. I wanted to give them more options of stuff they can carry with that sticker set. Um, if you're not familiar, it's the sticker set with um, the inspired Gryffindor, Slytherin, Snake, um, the Badger and the Raven. So I have four three inch stickers of that. And then I have this guy now. And along with those, I also have new three inch stickers by Standout Stickers as well. So I have these two guys, which is kind of similar to what you see on the sticker sheet, but in a very, but in a slightly different like style. We can they're like the same similar bird um some people don't carry both so i wanted to give them the option of the three inch stickers or the sticker sheet and some people will actually buy both if that if that interests them and then i also have the patronus the deer and the stag one and they're all in little books just to match the Harry Potter set. They all have little magical books with them. So this one also has magical books. I always like doing sets that have similar vibes. And then the other um, three three inch stickers that are coming out for this release is birds because I kind of started getting known for birds. Uh, first of all, I did Haru. Look at him. Haru, evil Haru specifically. And then I have based off my Twitch uh, chat, who we call ourselves the Pigeon Army. I wanted to kind of throw a sticker in there inspired by them. They're so cute. And then I love toucans. I've been following a few YouTube toucan channels and I thought it would be such a cute addition to the whole um, a talking bird set. So I might add more to this line, but so far these are the three. And this one already got picked up by one of my wholesalers. So super excited that Har is gonna be uh, in a retail store where people can buy him. So that rounds out our stickers for this section. As you can see, the big heavy box of stickers. So the next package that I got was from Taiwan. Yay! So these are my lanyards. Um, 
I order my lanterns from Taiwan. I think I can link their uh, website below, but it's all in Chinese. They do have international um, representatives, so if you do shoot them an email in English, they will respond with the proper person. I have two new lanyards. I don't usually do that many new lanyards just because uh, of the bigger sum of money that I need up front for lanyards specifically. But um, for those who don't know, I kind of use the same art for my sticker sheets as my lanyard. So usually if I'm making a lanyard, I have a matching sticker sheet. I just do it that way. It's easier for me and people kind of like the matching thing sometimes. So, if these look familiar, these are the little Harry Potter birds. I don't have the third bird, so there's two of them. And that's how they look in lanyard form. It turned out super cute. I'm really, really, really happy with it. And then my second one is also the coffee one. Coffee lanyard. Can you imagine I did not have a coffee lanyard? I have like a boba lanyard, a ramen lanyard, um, a sushi lanyard, but no coffee lanyard. So I finally filled that little void in my uh, product line. So I'm so happy that these came in time. These arrived last week and the sticker sheets literally arrived today and my events in two days. <laughs> so I'm really pushing it for this release, uh, but I'm glad everything turned out well at the end. So this is how the lanyards come. They come in these little nice bags. You can see, here's the uh, coffee one. So just to show you guys how they package it, this is the coffee ones. There's like a few over here. And here is the new bird owl ones. And I did a reorder of the dog ones because we were running out. So here is the corgi ones that I have. And then here is the Shiba ones I have. So lanyards have been doing pretty well in both the retail and wholesale world. So I was pretty happy to do more of them and to be able to reorder more as well. So I've already done reorders of my boba and sushi. So I am familiar with the company that is doing it this time. And they're a wonderful company. Um, we do a deal where um, we QA all our lanyards. And the ones that have problems, they will either refund or make new ones of. So I'm so glad they are willing to do that. I had a different manufacturer before this company. I think for the old company, I had a fail rate of 30%, which is insane, right? Um, I had it either sell those at a discount or even just trash them because they were printed off, um, they were cut off or something, some similar issues to that. So sometimes these lanyards, maybe one out of 10 will have issues, but it's definitely not as persistent as the other company. And nowadays we QA them right after the factory gives it to us and then get refunds or new lanyards for the problematic ones. So I'm happy they're willing to work with us. We told them in order to switch over to their manufacturing company, we had to make sure that was in place so we don't have that issue of fail lanyards again. So um, they're a great company. If you're interested in working with them to get lanyards like these made from Taiwan, then be sure to check out their link in the description below. Um, if you need any help from me or, or my mom facilitating between you guys, be sure to let me know. Um, we can work it out and we can see uh, how we can help you. Based on pricing, these are a little more expensive than lanyards done in China, but that's just kind of like a standard that I'm willing to do, uh, accept getting stuff done in Taiwan. The good thing is the shipping is faster. For some reason, I think Taiwan has a partnership uh, between their postal service and the U.S. Uh, postal service, so things get here faster when shipped from Taiwan, which is kind of nice. Uh, versus getting shit from China. I feel like there's a little bit more logistics involved or just time involved. Uh, so it's not too bad. So that rounds out the products I have for this release and I'm so excited to see how it does. Um, the first test will definitely be the wholesale show in two days and I'm very excited to see how my retailers like them. And then I will slowly be releasing these 
in the uh, retail spectrum, online, Etsy, and stuff like that once I get better photos of them. The third package I kind of want to show you guys, which is a little more fun uh, and personal product that I buy for my family and household, is Who Gives a Crap? Now this company does toilet paper and paper towels, and we go through this company because they're super sustainable. They get their stuff uh, either made from recycled paper or a sustainable source like bamboo and we get all our toilet papers from them. This is so weird to share, but I, I'm so excited by this company and like their message for the world. Um, save the environment one toilet paper at a time. And they have these cute packages. As you can notice, there is no plastic on these at all. I love them and they're so cute. You can literally just put extras on uh, your sink or next to your toilet and they look super cute like this. Um, I buy a whole bunch, as you can see. And we also get our paper towels from them. We get their bamboo paper towel version, which is super cool too. And they're actually, uh, I think they're like two plies, so they're not thin at all. I've gotten some that are super thin from Amazon and stuff, and they're just like, no. Uh, they are a little more pricey, but I'll share the link for you because I just love this company. They're so fun. So that's all the packages I got for today. Day. I love getting packages. It's like one of the guilty pleasures of having a retail business. You get all these things delivered to you and you get to open them. It's like Christmas uh, every release cycle. Hey guys, I was just doing some product photography for my new products because I need to put them online in the wholesale marketplaces and my retail stores. So just doing some very basic photography. Um, this is what I use. It's really bright right now. Let me show you what it looks like. The brand is Foldio, F-O-L-D-I-O. -O, and it's a collapsible photo, photo taking little setup and it has built in lights at the top. So if you can see, I can turn on the light and it has settings. So the light is like this bar right here and you can add additional lights on the side if you want. But I love this little thing. It collapses into basically um, almost like this size. This is the box it came in. So, And this is the brand. So it collapses down to a pretty small size for storage purposes and I really like it. Mostly the fact that the lights are built in is really nice for me. I found a little place that I can access it pretty easily so I think I'm going to leave it there for um, infinite amount of time and then I don't do crazy photography myself. It's basically anything on a white backdrop that I do like the very basics. Recently I started using a third party individual to do my more complicated photography with props and stuff like that. Um, so remember I told you guys I use third party people to help me do my photos. I kind of wanted to introduce them to you so if you guys are interested in using them you can always reach out to them. So the first person that I've been working with is Crystal Han and this is her Instagram. So she kind of specializes in food um, and product-based photos, as you can see. I love her stuff. And on the right here are some of the photos she took from my stickers. And then we have some lanyard photos. Um, really super cute. And she sets up and lays out the prop herself. No additional cost unless she has really specific requirements. And then here are my keychains, boba, doggies. She has like dog um, toys in the background for this one. And then sticker sheets. And she's doing my new release photos as well. So I'm super excited to see how those turn out. And I highly recommend her. Great price, pleasant to work with, and lovely photos. So that's Crystal Han. The next person I want to show you guys is, Dan oh, I'm not even following him, <laughs> is Daniel Nguyen, and he is a fashion photographer mostly, but he also does product and food photography as well. So he did our t-shirt pictures, as you can see on the right. These are some of the ones that we did with him, 
and he helped me hire and find these models. And I found the dog models, that's Sheikah right there, and one of my followers, Corgi, as well. And we have some outdoor shoots, and then we also had some indoor, like, this was at a sushi shop. We contacted the restaurant owner and asked them if they would let us shoot it on location, and they were pretty happy to do it. So we had some of these, like, eating shots which was kind of fun and then at the bar the sushi bar uh, with all our sushi shirts and we did the same thing with a local boba shop so this is the boba shop that we went to and they i'll link both the restaurant and the boba shop in my description below but i really like the aesthetics of this place and they had kind of cool walls and we had our doggy shirts there and then some boba ones, which was awesome. And the third person I want to introduce you to is Joey. And she does fashion photography, product photography, food photography as well. And here is her Instagram if you guys are interested. And for us specifically, she did our intro video. So let me show you that real quick. So I kind of laid out a storyboard kind of setting for her of what I wanted it to show. And then she shot the video at the same time as when we were doing the photography. So it worked out really well. Her and Daniel know each other. She was actually recommended by Daniel. So it was such a fun shoot. We had such a great time and it took around, I think five hours to do all together. And then for them, I think it took another month to get everything put together and clean up and then sent to me. She let them know what they're supposed to do. Um, I kind of let her know which shirts were popular and I wanted to use. So I love it. It turned out so well. She added her own music to it. And then she provided me three different length of the videos. Uh, one was, I think, like 60 seconds, one with 30 seconds, and one was 15 seconds. So I could use it in like a variety of different scenarios. If you're interested in any of them, be sure to check out their Instagrams. I am such a firm believer in supporting other small businesses and really outsourcing stuff that you personally maybe don't want to do or aren't good at. and it just frees up your time to be doing other things that may benefit your company even more. But otherwise, I just finished all my photos and I'm gonna start updating Fair, Abound, and Tundra. Yay, getting ready for my release. So I got everything updated on Fair, Tundra, my website, and my catalog. Um, so I'll just show you guys uh, what's new through my PDF catalog. So just as a quick introduction, this is my wholesale catalog and I kind of use the same format year to year because I just like this format. It works well for me and it's pretty easy to add to. So I just kind of update the cover. As you can see, here are most of our new products. And then the second page is our table of content, a little bit about us. Um, and then our graphic tees, we got two pages for that. And then we got our keychains. And to the right, I also added how they looked in their packaging. And then here's the lanyards. I did add the two new ones. I didn't want to make a separate page for the lanyards, so I kind of like just shoved the owl lanyards next to the title. I might have to change that later on for my next release. And then there's no new greeting cards, but here are the two pages for that. And <laughs> I'm sorry about Haru. He's like tripping out right now, by the way. Um, and then here is our three inch stickers. Uh, we have two pages of it. And on the second page, you can see there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven new ones. And we also have the sample packaging. Uh, sticker sheets, two new ones. Uh, the, I, the sticker sheets overflow into the next page as well. And I have like a little baby amount of notepads. And then some ordering info at the end and then the back page.
I also make this one page of all our new products that I kind of send to um, retailers that have ordered from us before and just want to see new products or just people interested in knowing what we have new. So we have the lanyards, the sticker sheets, and then the seven new three inch stickers. Um, I find this really helpful to, I can just send it to whoever is interested in finding out what this release is all about. Uh, there's no prices on there because sometimes I use it for retail, sometimes I use it for wholesale. So I kind of just like doing a one page of this now, uh, whenever we have new products. I'm so sorry about her, guys. <laughs> He's tripping out so hard right now. So I was actually able to package a lot of my orders live on Twitch. Uh, if you're interested, be sure to follow, subscribe at twitch.tv slash emmycreations. I would love to hang out with you and chat with you while I work on all my small business product uh, creation, packaging, and all that. So the fair wholesale show ended up super awesome. I got a total of eight orders and three of which were from new retail stores. So I am always happy of returning customers, but I am also super excited for the new one. And we had a lot of the stores also pick up our new products. So I was happy that I was able to anticipate their interests and needs. Uh, as I expected, the ones that had the three inch stickers of the Harry Potter houses, they also picked up the magical hour stickers and the Patronus stickers. So I'm so glad they like those and I hope they sell amazing. This release was really successful and a lot of people were really interested in all the new products. Um, the birds also got picked up too. The, little talking bird stickers. Uh, two stores picked up horror stickers, which I thought was really funny. And uh, basically all my three inch stickers got picked up by some stores. So the three inch stickers are definitely always my best sellers. Um, and it was a crazy and hectic two days, two to three days of packaging and shipping and all that but I'm so happy we managed to finish. Um, we got new people interested in shirts as well, so just great all around. I really love that FAIR helps us do a discount matching system where I basically am offering 5% off where they are matching it, so the total is 10% off. Um, and then I had two price tiers where every order was 10% off, um, orders over $200 were a total of 20% off. So I thought that was great for retail stores. I think it helps promote retail stores to order more. So that's always wonderful and they're always able to try out more product. So overall, super happy and I'm always super thankful for wholesale. Like I feel like it's something that has helped me get through COVID and the downswing of events and money from events that kind of hit my business really, really hard this last two years. So I'm super grateful for the retail stores that given me a chance and just wholesale in general. And if you are interested in doing wholesale yourself, I actually have made a video of how I got started in wholesale and some tips and tricks of getting into the whole wholesale world as a small art business. I'll leave you a link in the top and the description. So if you're interested, feel free to check that out as well. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me for another vlog. And if you like our content, be sure to click the subscribe button and the alert bell. Um, otherwise, if you want to see more of our vlogs, I'll put that over here and if you want to see uh specifically how i got into wholesale i have a great video i'll put over here where you can check that out so i hope to see you over there and here's haru if you can see him he's praying right now <laughs>